Luka Doncic, Slovenian sensation. And Doncic is on fire from three. We've never seen a prospect at his age accomplish what he has. It's an amazing city, you know, it's always sunny, and good weather, and nice people, nice places, so it's very nice to be here. I play a lot of video games with my friends, uh, some coffee, you know, sometimes we go to cinema, play bowling. It was tough, you know, because when I was younger, I only eat uh, pasta and hamburgers. <laughs> So, I didn't like any food, but now, now I'm okay. Come on, it's amazing, yeah. Now I'm okay. I just like Tiger. So maybe if we go to the United States, I will buy it. <laughs> like Mike Dyson. I'm a kid, I just want to play basketball, you know, so I'm not tired. This year I became European champion with Slovenia. I became European champion with Real Madrid. I was MVP of the season and MVP of the final four, so it's like a dream country. Real Madrid has taken the trophy to become the new EuroLeague champions. Luka Doncic is the MVP, the youngest ever. It was an amazing feeling, you know. I was without words. Uh, we have a rough season uh, with all the injuries, but we play like a team and we did it. Uh, I think not much people believed in us in the finals. So I think it's more special because of that. He was always playing with the ball, but I was never thinking so much about this because for me it was only important that he's happy. To move to Madrid to everything new, so it was hard. I know a lot of people told me you're too young to go, so, but I didn't want to listen to them, I want to listen to me. First I said, oh my God, this is too early because he was 13 years old, he was really a kid. Um, and then he said to me, mom, I want to try. And mama was very important, you know, to be here with me. Everything new, you need to have a person to stay with you, to help you. If you go away from home with 13 years old, you become very mature. So this helped him to develop in basketball too, of course. Doncic, 6'6", 195, just 16 years old. We played uh, first of all against Boston Celtics, then next year we played against OKC here in Madrid. I was 16 years old playing against some of the best players in the world, Russell Westbrook, so I was you know, a little bit scared. <laughs> it was just amazing to be on the court with them. Doncic, youngest ever to play for Real Madrid. The NBA is the best league in the world, you know, you have amazing players, amazing coaches. It's just another world, you know. Of course, it's exciting to play against these players or with them, it will be amazing. My favorite is LeBron, the way he rebounds, passes, scores. He can play a lot of positions. I can play a lot of positions, but to be like LeBron, I will need to work much harder. You can improve everything, uh, every time, every day you can improve, but especially my physical condition and my shot. Don't sit up top. Oh my Lord, are you kidding me? I mean, I know there is pressure, you know, but I think I, I show that when I go on the court, I don't have any pressure. I always say when I get on the court, I forget about everything, just play basketball. I'm really, really happy and proud of him, especially because he's a great person and also a great basketball player. What I remember the most is how happy you were whenever you came from school. One practice was never enough for you, so you wanted to practice with uh, your group, older group, and maybe some other more. <laughs> what are you the most excited for the summer? I mean, I'm excited to, to see the United States, to train there. That means how you love the basketball. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the most thing I will miss is the whole Real Madrid, you know, the people they have, they're just amazing, you know, they gave, they gave me everything uh, when I was 13, they took care of me, uh, they treat me like a family here, so I will miss them a lot. Everything is new, it's exciting and I'm very happy to be in this position. The youngster smells it out, oh, 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 no he didn't, my lord, look at Luca. 